Hey friends, welcome to week 20 yoga practice. This week we're gonna do a 30-ish minute classic vinyasa practice. So a lot of familiar poses and some nice flow within there and some longer holds as well. Grab whatever props you need. I'm gonna have a block, or sorry, a bolster. And if you do want a block for maybe a half moon pose, go ahead and place that at the top of the mat. And then we'll meet back here whenever you're ready in a child's pose. So this is where a bolster or a pillow might come in handy if you wanna make a little bit more room for your belly and your baby. I would put the bolster underneath your chest and let your belly hang down. And turn one cheek to rest and close your eyes. Really sink your hips back towards your heels and soften through your low back. Release your shoulders from your ears. And let yourself really arrive here in layers today. So first noticing the physical body. Just anything that comes up, anything that feels tense or tight or tired or anything that feels strong and ready. And switch which ear is resting, so you might turn your head to face the opposite direction. And let your belly and your chest sink a little bit heavier here. And then start to inhabit your mind space and your heart space. Just see where your thoughts and emotions are today. Not judging in one way or another, but just creating an intention to have all the layers of you right here on your mat for the next 30 minutes. Two more big breath cycles. Good. Go ahead and release. So walk your hands up to lift your chest. Move your bolster out of the way. And we're going to walk our hands all the way over to the right. Sinking down through left hip, stretching through left side body. And then walk your hands all the way over to the right, sinking down through right hip and stretching through right side body. Good, come back through center. Rise up into a tabletop pose. Stack your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over your knees. You can keep your toes tucked or untucked, whatever makes you feel more stable and balanced here. We'll just start with a little shift of your hips side to side. Good, and then if you wanna take a few rounds of cat-cow here, inhale to drop your belly, lift your tail, lift your gaze, and pull your heart through the gates of your arms. Exhale, tuck chin to chest, round pubic bone up into your navel and let that whole rounding motion make its way into the back body, hollowing out the front body. Inhale to open up into your cow pose. Exhale, round, push the ground away. Five more breaths here, close your eyes and stick in your cat cow or explore a little bit, taking barrel rolls or figure eights, or finding stillness. Whatever lets you feel into your body and listen to your body and feel good. 
Good. One more breath together here. Inhale, open up into your cow pose. Exhale, push and round into cat. Good, turn your hands so that your fingers are pointing out and your wrist creases are pointing in. Take a shift from side to side, or maybe little circles in one direction. And then switch. Perfect. And then flip your hands so that the tops of your hands are on the mat, fingertips pointing back towards your knees. And then big stretch, sink your hips back towards your heels. Nice calm breath. Good. Plant your hands back in a normal shape. Tuck your toes. And then with a generous bend in your knees, glide your hips back to downward facing dog. First down dog of practice, go ahead and shift your hips side to side, lifting one heel and then the other, walking out your dog. Really press the ground away through your index finger and thumb, and also plant the mound of your pinky finger down as well. Stretch along through your armpits and long through your low back. Good. On an inhale, ground down through your left big toe. Inhale, sweep your right heel high. Three-legged dog, keep the hip square. Exhale, plant your right foot on the outside of your right hand. Take an easy twist, ground down through your left palm, reach right hand high. Exhale to push right hip crease forward and stay here. Breathe in to expand across your wingspan. Good, exhale, take a modified pyramid. Right hand plants on the inside of your right foot. Stretch your right leg straight-ish, just for a little mobilization through the hamstrings. Bending, straightening your right leg. From a runner's lunge or a lizard lunge to a modified pyramid. Good, next time your right knee bends, step your left foot up to meet it. Sink your hips low. Malasana yogi squat at the top of the mat. Interlace your fingers and roll out your wrists here in one direction. And then the other direction. Inhale to press your palms together, your elbows into your knees, knees into your elbows, and grow your heart into your thumbs. Exhale, forward fold. Point your toes to face forward. Your feet are hip width distance apart. Bend into your knees, clasp opposite elbows, and let your head hang heavy as you sway side to side here. Good, find center, ground down through your feet. Inhale, halfway lift. Pull the crown of your head forward. And exhale to release. Two more lifts like that, inhale, halfway. Straight spine, unraveling your body. Exhale to release. One more time, inhale. Exhale, good, plant your hands. Step your feet back to a plank pose. You can always modify by dropping your knees down. Breathe in here. Shift your weight forward over your fingertips. And exhale into chaturanga. So bend your elbows by your sides. Hover your chest off the mat. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Your thighs can be pressed down into the mat or lifted up. Push into the tops of your feet, engage your glutes and pull your heart through. Gentle here. Good, exhale, roll over your feet. Glide your hips back, downward facing dog. Other side, inhale, sweep left toes high, square your hips. Exhale, left foot on the outside of your left hand. Keep back knee lifted, push down through your right palm. Inhale, easy twist. Left arm opens to the sky. Plenty of space for your belly here. You can also roll onto the pinky toe side of your left foot if you need more. One more breath in. And exhale, left hand on the inside of your left foot. Straighten and bend into your left leg. From a lizard lunge to a modified pyramid a few times. Good, next time your left knee bends, step your right foot to meet it, or to mirror the shape. Take an active squat this time. 
So we're not sinking our hips lower than our knees, but we are sinking low, hands to heart. Three breaths here. If you find your knees are collapsing in, use your outer glutes to draw them outwards. One more breath in. Good, exhale to stand tall. Breathe in, arms sweep high. Breathe out, take a little side stretch over to your right. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, side stretch to the left. With your breath, two more times on each side. Equal weight through both feet. We're just finding length from our hip bones all the way out through our pinky fingers. Good, inhale, find center. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands. Step back, plank pose. Find your stable shape here. Pulling front body back into back body. Pressing the ground away, finding some lift through the back of the heart. Inhale to shift, shoulders over fingers. Exhale, chaturanga, your vinyasa of choice. Inhale to pull through to your gentle heart opener. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, feel your shape now. A little more open, a little more active than how we started. Deep breath in, and deep breath out. Good, we'll move through a few rounds of sun salutation A. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, gaze between your thumbs. Exhale, step or walk or jump to the top of the mat, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, pull your head forward and your bottom back. Exhale to fold. Ground down through your feet. Inhale, rise up, fingertips to sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, let's take a cactus of the elbows. So really pulling them into the space behind you as you thread your heart through. Engage through your glutes. Exhale, forward fold. Generous bend in your knees. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands. Step back, move through plank or modified plank. Keeping knees grounded or lifted. Lower down. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, roll over your toes, glide your hips back, down dog. Three more rounds with your breath. Inhale, bend your knees, lift your heels. Exhale, top of the mat, fold. Breathe in, half lift. Breathe out to release. Push through your feet, inhale, rise, arms high. Exhale, thumbs to chest. Inhale, cactus your elbows, pull your heart forward. Exhale, dive down. Half lift, breathe in. Exhale, plant your hands, step back. Lower into your chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your heels, gaze forward. Exhale, top of the mat, find your fold. However you need to get there. Breathe in, find some length through your spine. Exhale, crown of the head drops. Push down through your feet, rise up, hands to sky. Exhale, meet at heart center. Inhale, cactus and open. Exhale, forward fold. Breathe in, half lift. Exhale, move through your vinyasa. At your own pace, with whatever shapes serve you. Last round on your own. Making that movement meditation, linking breath with body, crowning you into this moment. and honoring what you need.
Eventually, we all meet back in downward facing dog. Take a couple deep breaths and open mouth exhales when you get there. Moving that energy through. Good, as you're ready, ground down through left big toe. Inhale, sweep right heel high. Three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee, right elbow, tiger curl. Hug your front body into your back body. Inhale, three-legged dog, right heel high. Exhale, right knee, left elbow, cross the body. Inhale, re-extend, last time. Exhale, hug your knee in through center, and then step your foot between your thumbs. Seal your left hip heel down to the mat, and then square your hips to the front of the mat. Inhale to rise up. Virabhadrasana one, warrior one. So pull right hip crease back and shoot left hip forward. Good, arms extend high. Sink into your right knee. Find a point of focus and breathe. One more inhale. Exhale, open up to the left, warrior two. So now your foot is perpendicular or parallel to the back of the mat. Here our hips are open, arms are extending long, hands are casting shadows on our feet, and we bend deeper into the right knee. One more exhale to sink a little bit lower. Good, with your breath, inhale, reverse triangle. Right leg straightens, reach your right hand up to the sky, left hand is weightless on the back leg. Exhale, modified side angle, right elbow, right knee. Extend left fingertips high or overhead to the front of the mat. Two more with your breath, inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, modified side angle. One more time, inhale. Exhale, we stay in our side angle. Firm your weight through the outer edge of your left foot and find some really lengthening breaths through the left side body. One more inhale. Exhale, this is where a block comes in handy if you want it. I'm gonna take Ardha Chandrasana Half Moon, top of the mat, balancing on your right foot. Lift your left leg, stack your left hip on top of your right, and extend left hand to the sky. Engage your outer left glute. Good, hands can be on a block, on the ground, on a chair. Inhale here. Good, exhale, star pose. Left foot steps back. All 10 toes face the long edge of the mat, arms reach high. Exhale, prasarita, wide-legged forward fold. Dive your body down. Inhale to halfway lift. Find some length through your spine. And exhale to release. If you want to take those spinal rolls for a few more breaths, you have the option here. Good. Next inhale, halfway lift. Turn your left toes to the back of the mat. Exhale, warrior two. So now bending into your left leg. Couple breaths here to land. We're moving slowly and holding for a few breaths on this first round. And then for our next two rounds, we will move breath with movement. Good, inhale, sweep your right hand high, square your hips to the back of the mat, pivot on the ball of the right foot, high crescent lunge. Engage your glutes and press the back of your right thigh up to the sky. Front of the core is engaged, inhale here. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, move through your vinyasa. So through chaturanga, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One breath here. Exhale, let it go. Good, inhale, three-legged dog, left heel sweeps high this time. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. 
Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale, last time here. Exhale, left foot lands between your thumbs. Seal your left, right heel down. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Hips are square to the back of the mat. Sink into your left knee. One more inhale here. Exhale, open up to the right, warrior two. You might need to reposition your back foot, totally fine. Find your point of focus and find your steady breath. Good, next inhale, reverse your triangle, straighten your front leg, lift your left fingertips high. Exhale, modify side angle, left elbow, left knee, extend your right fingertips forward. Make it flowy and move with your breath two more times. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, modified side angle. Breathe in, lean back. Breathe out, shift forward and hold here. Long line of stretch and tension from your right foot to your right fingertips. One in, more inhale into the right side waist. And exhale, gaze out over your left big toe, launch forward into a half moon. Option of that block underneath your left hand. We're stacking right hip directly on top of left, pressing out strong through our right heel. Gaze out to the side. Hug your core in so we're avoiding arching through the low back. If you need more support, find a taller prop underneath your left hand, a chair works, or a desk. One more breath in, exhale, star pose. Plant your right foot back, all 10 toes, face the long edge of the mat, arms high. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold, dive down. Good, this time inhale, twist open to the right. Left hand is planted, exhale through center. Swap them out. Right hand plants, inhale, twist open to the left. If it feels good to continue with these twists, we'll do two more on each side. But if you wanna stay still, that is a good option too. Last one, finish up. Good. Breathe in, halfway lift. Breathe out, turn your right toes to the top of the mat, bend into your right knee. Fear Bajrasana two, front of the mat again. Good, pivot onto the ball of your left foot. Square both hips to the front, high crescent lunge. Biceps are framing the ears and we're stretching long to the sky and long through the back heel. Inhale. Exhale, hands frame out right foot. Move through your vinyasa. We meet in downward facing dog. Big inhale here. Exhale, open your mouth. Good, breath per movement. Inhale, three-legged dog, right heel high. This time, right foot steps all the way through. Lower left heel down, inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two, open up to the left. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten front leg. Exhale, modified side angle. Just one time here. Inhale, re-straighten once more. Exhale, half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Balance on your right foot. Peel left hip open. And breathe in here. Exhale, star pose, bend into your right knee. All 10 toes face the left. Left foot plants, inhale, arms high. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Turn your left toes to the back of the mat. Good, warrior two, into the left leg. Exhale to sink lower. Inhale, high crescent lunge, pivot your right hip forward. Exhale, hands frame left foot. Step back, move through your vinyasa. Keep it going without a break. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, left foot steps through. Inhale, warrior one. 
Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, modified side angle. One more time, lean back with your in-breath. Exhale, Ardha Chandrasana, half moon, balance on the left foot. Peel right hip open, breathe in here. Exhale, left leg bends, right foot steps back. Star pose on an in-breath. Exhale, wide legged forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend your right foot, or bend your right knee, toes face forward. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, sink deeper. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Exhale, hands plant, move through your vinyasa. And we will go one more round on each side. When you get to down dog, inhale, right heel high. Exhale, right foot between your thumbs. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two, open to the left. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, side angle. One more time, inhale, lean back. Exhale, launch forward, half moon. One breath here to meet the shape and extend into your limbs. Exhale, step your left foot back. Start pose, breathe in, arms high. Exhale, forward fold. Breathe in, halfway lift. Breathe out, prepare for warrior two at the back of the mat. Inhale to cartwheel your arms open. Exhale, bend deeper into your back leg. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Pivot on the ball of your right foot. Exhale, hands plant. Step back, moving with your breath. Option to skip the vinyasa and meet in down dog. When you get there, inhale left heel high. Exhale, left foot between your thumbs. Warrior one. Warrior two. Reverse triangle. Side angle with your breath. Reverse. Half moon. Breathe in here. Exhale, lower that back leg. Inhale, star. Fold with your out breath. Half lift. Fold, bend knee. Point your right toes to the top of the mat. Cartwheel your arms open. Warrior two. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, pitch your hands. Step back. Move through your vinyasa. Downward facing dog. Close your eyes, take three good breaths with an open mouth exhale. Good, walk your feet to the top of the mat. Find Uttanasana, bend your knees as much as you'd like. Keep your eyes closed for now. As you're ready, come to stand. Mountain pose, palms face forward, ground down through your feet. And just feel a really nice presencing into your body. As that energy starts to move through and your breath starts to slow, Find yourself here. Blink your eyes open. Shift your weight into your right foot. We'll take Vrikshasana, tree pose. Your left foot can come as a kickstand with toes still on the mat, or it can come to the inner right calf or the inner right thigh. If you'd like to use your left hand to help you get there, totally fine. And then hands can be out wide or holding onto the wall, or you can bring them to heart center. Press your left foot and your right inner thigh together and think about aligning your right hip underneath your body. Tendency is for it to poke out to the right side. 
Peel your left knee open. And breathe. Two more cycles. Gently, slowly release. Find your mountain pose again. Two feet solid into the mat. Maybe close your eyes again. Roll your shoulders back. And then we switch. Weight into the left foot. Make sure you're grounded down through big toe, pinky toe, and heel. And then find that placement of the right foot that feels good for you. Just avoiding the actual knee joint itself. And then hands can hold on to something for balance or you can bring them to heart center. Push your legs together, extend tall through your spine. We are settled and focused here. Five more breaths. Gently release as you're ready. Both feet onto the mat. One more time here. And then on your next in-breath, sweep your arms high. Exhale, forward fold. Breathe in, half lift. Breathe out, we're gonna lower down onto our bottoms and then onto our backs. So scoot your hips forward if you need. As you get there, glue your shoulder blades down to the mat. Extend your left leg long. Pull your right knee into your chest. If it feels better, bring it to the outer side of your rib cage. Press out through your left heel. Find a little engagement of your left leg. Then half happy baby. You can hold on to your right shin or outside of your right foot. We're gonna press our right Sole of our foot to the sky. Open up through the inner thigh and the hamstrings, the groin. And then a gentle twist over to your left. If it feels better for you to have a block underneath your right knee as you twist it over the body, so that the whole body is facing to the left and only your right elbow and shoulder peels back, that's a great option. If you know what your twisting limits are, you can remove that. Just know that you're still getting good breaths and oxygen down into baby. Good, come back through center, extend a right leg long, pull your left knee into your chest or rib cage. You can roll out your ankles if that feels good. Now a half happy baby. Hold on to somewhere on the outside of the left foot Draw your left knee back. And breathe into the pelvic floor. Take a twist, whatever feels comfortable for you. In some way, we're gonna bring our left knee across our body. Whether our whole shoulder follows it or not is up to you. Whether we have prop or not is up to you. 
The twist is coming from the upper body though. So above the belly button. One more breath in. Exhale to center. Scoot your hips where you need. Pull your knees into your chest. Take an in-breath to pull your forehead up to your knees. And exhale, release everything into Shavasana. Legs extend long, arms are down by your side. Find some comfort in your body so you can let go of any distractions or alterations here. Or don't feel right laying on your back, please take a sideline shavasana. Start to wiggle into your fingers and toes. Take a deep breath. Gently roll onto one side. And stay here in this transition. And then come to a seat when you're ready. are still closed if possible. Hands come to belly. Just a moment to connect with baby here. And a moment of intention to bring you as you go back out into the world. Thank you for practicing with me and I'll see you next time.